All right, so we got Until Dawn Remake, the return behind the scenes content. Let's go to the video. No, I think this is actually the actor, the voice actor behind Sam, I think. Turn it up a little. Hayden Panettiere. I play the role of Sam. It's been a long time. Um, eight years. I remember... Eight years? Friends get to Blackwood. There are all sorts of creatures and things that go in the night. <laughs> it's supposed to be a fun time. And this fun time turns into like the, the worst little vacay ever. <laughs> what is she doing now? Fuck. No. Uh oh, GG's. She has a driving force behind her. She True. has this gutsy nature. You definitely can see that she's a leader. True. She always fights back. She'll always lean towards towards the light and she'll fight like heck. I think she's very intuitive and has good gut instincts and she follows them. I would say Come on guys, hurry up. We got to find Mike. Yeah, I agree. I had done a lot of voice work actually since I was much much younger i was up for any new challenges and i'm a total nerd i love fantasy i love video games i love the escapism that you, that you get from being able to be in a world like that is in a different realms full of wonder or in this case horror and all that good stuff <laughs> all about imagination you're looking True. at a tennis ball on a c-stand they're saying that's like a creature coming at you or it's a ceiling fan or it's a whatever it's just about imagining as much as you can in your mind visualizing how you would react is that the that ending scene were to happen in real life it's it's tricky the jump scares, oh, I don't Lord. like being startled in like day to day life. True. Like when I'm watching a horror film, I want those jumps. Oh, jump I don't. Scares for sure. I don't. Not witting the, the audience, doing the unexpected, just the unpredictable nature of it. No, no, I don't like it. I don't like it. Y'all know me, I don't like that. One of the things that just separates it from from the rest. I think it's the interactive part of it. Allows True. the audience to make decisions and based on those decisions, something entirely different would happen. True. Okay, 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 this is gonna be okay. You can't let me die. No, I can. I can. As a matter of fact, I picked you. Ashley, I'll get you out of this. I won't let you die. It makes you feel like you're you're there you're in charge of the lives of these characters that you come to grow fond of. I've watched so many shows where they talk about the, the butterfly effect. If you really break it down, it's a real thing. It's a real thing. You change. I believe that too. One thing. You pull one little thread from the blanket and, and it becomes a different pattern. Until Dawn is has been around for for years and years now and i think people love it and the fact that they you know are going further with it says that there's 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 a want for it all right oh. bro this game always gotta scare somebody bro all right so we just got done hearing, um, basically the voice actor, um, what's her name? Hayden. We just got done hearing, um, you know, so crazy because like, bro, I'd never even learned like the actual real names of like the voice actors who actually voice, you know, the characters in the game. Um, I actually did know like some of the actors, like faces are recognizable. Like, uh, like Josh, he was like the guy from like iRobot, I think. And so completely honest with you, right? Um, first of all, I, and I actually think right here where Right here, I think this is where they were, like, performing, like, uh, I think she was actually performing, like, the scene from, like, at the end of, like, the game where, like, she wakes up from the bed and, you know, the like, the little medicine thing drops and, like, I think she's trying to, she, uh, bro, here's the thing, though. 
if we can get like an until dawn two or whatever bro they'll be absolutely fire i would love if like i think sam is like I wouldn't say she's like the most perfect character, bro, but she was literally made. I think Sam was like the best character for Until Dawn. And if they were to pick in if they were to pick any character to can like to continue like the series off of, it would be Sam. I think Sam has her like bro, obviously like she has her head on straight. Um I don't think she was like the main character, but like she was like the first character you were you was introduced to. So it makes me think is she technically like the main character? Because if you really think Alright, I'm good now. Um my bad, I had to mute whatever. It was it was stupid, whatever. Alright, um so yeah. Basically, like I said, as soon as you like enter the game, whatever basically if you didn't know you like on like the bus ride whatever you are sam i wouldn't say she's like the main character whatever but let's be honest bro out of all the characters out of you know emily jessica um we call it like out of uh out of, out of sam out of mike but here's the thing though i think mike could also be a good contender as well because uh like bro out of like you know out of all the characters sam and mike are like the the kind of like the i think like the Mm, bro, but Jessica though. See, bro, Jessica, bro, she got torn up, bro. You see her face, bro. She got hit with a Mike Tyson right here, bro. She got the, uh, she got the, uh, like what do you call it, like the Tom and Jerry, like not right here. She bleeding. She got all types of Kool Aid and ketchup on the face. It's crazy. So, out of all characters, right, I, I think it's either Sam or Michael that should be able to like continue like the, like the game basically, um, because bro, like I think they're like the most like resilient characters. You know if that makes sense. So. Comment down below, man. What do you guys think about this? Uh, sorry for like that little pause, whatever. Somebody was knocking on my door um, and, and stuff like that. But man, I'm really excited for um, the new game. I, I think like the whole ending scene of her, like, you know, waking up and not, not, no, no, she wasn't even waking. She was already awoke. She was already awake, bro. She was already awake, whatever. She, uh, like, the medicine thing dropped. She was bleeding from the, uh, like, she got like a hole. She's like, she got like an IV on her arm, whatever. Obviously, it wasn't an IV, but like, bro, she was bleeding. The screen turned red or whatever. She might turn into a Wendigo. We don't know, bro. It's like that whole little cliffhanger of her um, at the end. It was very like, um, I wouldn't say it was like confusing, but like it was, it was open ended basically, which is, you know, which is a good thing because, you know, it, you know, it, it could lead off as like a, as like a, as like a gateway to like a sequel or something like that. So, you know, you never know. We'll see. Um, it, it's actually crazy that like, um, that we actually have somebody that actually played in the game like eight nine years ago um because i'm the thing is right whenever it comes down to like sequels for games you usually and, and especially if it's like from like a long time you usually don't really see like the older people um like reconnect like, re, like <laughs> reconnect with that game i mean besides like grand theft auto 5 you know where you see like michael trevor and franklin like i think they still do like signs and stuff like that 10 years later which is crazy um, you rarely ever see like, you know, uh, people that used to voice act in this game come together and like, you know, redo something. So it's actually pretty cool seeing her, uh, eight years later still come through and like, you know, voice act and stuff like that. Cause I was actually wondering, uh, I think I actually asked this in the video where I reacted to like, uh, like where like Josh lives and stuff like that. I, for, bro, if you haven't watched that video, make sure you guys go watch it. It was, it was crazy. I was so surprised it was crazy. Um, and I was actually wondering to myself, I was like, wait a minute, this is actually like a whole new scene. Don't tell me that the actor that the actually voiced Sam came back after like eight to nine years and still like voiced it out because if she did, that's actually pretty cool. And, and it actually did sound like her. So I was actually very surprised that she actually came back because like I said before, bro, usually a lot of actors don't really come back and do something, you know, like with their old, um, like with, like with the game that they used to voice like or whatever, uh, whether it's like personal issues of what happened, you know, behind the scenes or whatever. Um, like some actors do come back, some actors don't come back, whatever it is, what it is. Wait, I heard that, like, even from like the guy that does uh, that voice CJ from uh, GTA San Andreas, I heard that he has some type of problem with Rockstar, or whatever, so he won't come back and do it. It, it, it. At the end of the day, we really don't know because you know, you know, we're only human, bro. Like, we, we don't know every piece of information that happened behind closed doors. So, other than that, man, hopefully, we get like another Until Dawn game. I would definitely love it. And uh, comment down below, man. What do y'all think about this, bro? This whole behind the scenes thing—it's crazy because like this is legit. Like this is how they make the game. Like this is legit how they make the game. 
you see a bunch of wires and cameras and uh you know the actual the people they got like all types of stuff connected to their face and like it, it's just crazy so other than that man comment down below what do you guys think about this make sure you guys like it because you guys are new and 